Do you work in Spain? I have been working all day. So you, you're going back to work after this? Yeah, this will yeah. be lunch break. <laughs> so everyone knows you've made the most appealing to school girl and you've already had one yellow card. You wouldn't call it a yellow card, you call it writing your name down. How would you explain that for yourself? Well, I, I suppose really, uh, Megan, you know, I mean, 857 games from Liverpool. I suppose if I was playing today, really, I'd probably get weak. Yellow cards, as you say, uh, uh, many times, but uh, I, I, it was a booking, um, and you know, in, in them days, the referee got his book out. And, you know, I mean, I always remember because it was at Old Trafford that was the league player for the league cup, cup final, uh, it was the league cup then, and uh, we drew Wembley uh, against Nottingham. Anyway, I got my name taken. I was against a guy, uh, Peter With, who was a scout then. Um, and I, we, we both went with the ball. I hit him in the ribs, actually. He went down. And um, Pat Partridge was the referee. And he came over and said, I mean, after 800 and odd games, he said to me, What's your name? You know, and I thought to myself, well, You know your name. So I said, Ian Callaghan. And he was right there with my name down. Actually, I thought, well, one, one day, uh, in fact, he's died recently. Pat oh. Partridge, I've read in, in, the, in the paper, he died. I thought, well, he says, I'm, I'm going to meet him. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Mugham had that one. <laughs> exactly. Well, yeah. it is a major achievement, and, you know, you are a gentleman, and everyone, you know, knows it. Everyone in the pool really does respect you for that. But I just wanted to know what your proudest moment throughout the whole time of the pool was. God, I've had so many proud moments, Megan, really. I, I suppose, really, when you look back at my career, um, I think the, the, the great moments is when you actually win something for the first time. I think it's, it's um, you're making history for the football club, and you're making history for yourself, yeah. you know, having been in the team. And I always think about, um, well, it's 50 years this year uh, since we first won the FA Cup, mm -hmm. and and then I was fortunate enough um, to be in the first time we won the European Cup, which is now Champions League, which was '77. So I, you know, I spent a lot of years, and uh, I think they're two of my greatest achievements. Yeah. Uh, and I have to agree. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to know if there's one player, like if you had to choose one, who would you think resembles you mostly? I don't know who resembles me, but um, <laughs> uh, I mean the one player I, 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 I think for the last 16 years here, you know, he's uh, just a, an amazing player, uh, a fantastic guy, Stevie G. Yeah. You know, and I think Stevie G, you know, you look at all the great teams uh, Liverpool have had, and Stevie G would walk into any, any team he would. He's just a fantastic player. I think everyone has been in that. But who, I mean, what is your favourite, like, funniest memory on the pitch? Like, whether it be the fans or, like, a remark that someone's made on the pitch that you've had to giggle along for in training? Well, I think, I think, sort of a, a memory for me, um, we played Leeds, um, and Leeds were like a you know, sort of a great rival club. Um, and I, I, I tell the story that we were, uh, Gary Sprague was in the in goal in the cop end, and one of our lads had a shot, which he saved Cultivate. And he went to throw the ball out, and I, I know this for a fact because some years later he had a, a, a Sunday article in the Sunday paper. Yeah. And he went to throw the ball out to the left back who was marking me, uh, William Bell. And in the article he, he, he put in, he saw Ian Callaghan sprint towards William Bell. And he kept hold of the ball and he actually threw it in his own net. And I didn't realise it, it was a goal. Um, it wasn't until Jack Charlton first centre half. 
had a few choice words with them. And, uh, <laughs> so I realized it was a goal. Uh, but the cop uh, in them days, you know, there was a, there was a, um, a song in the hit break called Careless Hands. And they all started singing Careless Hands. <laughs> yeah, that was the ball, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, funny in the car. But um, I'm just going to relate back to Bill Shankly and the legacy left behind. And I know you played some of them, and I've been a pro fan, you know, absolutely adored them, whether they knew him or not. I just wanted to say whether you could describe him as a man in three words. I think what Liverpool Football Club is today, Megan, uh, wouldn't be Liverpool Football Club. No. As they are today, without Bill Shankly. Bill Shankly came, I was here actually before him, and I signed in 58. He, he came in 59. And as I say, what this club is today was all about him starting it off. And I had 14 wonderful seasons with him. Oh my God. And, you know, when I, when I think about it, he was, he'll never ever be. He broke the mold. Yeah. He broke the mold because we'll never be anybody like Bill Shankly, ever, ever. What was, I mean, can you remember um, when you were there for 15 minutes, when you go into half-time and change moves, can you ever remember like, the specific speech you gave to kind of... Well, I, I suppose in them days, really, you know, you only had 10 minutes, so you, you go <laughs> off the pitch at half-time, and time you got in the dressing room and, and had a cup of tea, and you know, but it was always, it was always a friendly dressing room, it was never a sort yeah. of shout or you know, sort of uh, balling or kicking boots or we, 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 we've heard of. Um, <laughs> but you know, it was always a, 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 so, you know, it was always constructive and he uh, was ahead of his time. He yeah. was ahead of his time. Was there any kinds of troublemakers in the team that don't always like play pranks? Oh, no, 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 I mean, the, the, I think the, the, the one thing about Liverpool Football Club uh, and over the years, when I've been involved, was that they always had great groups of lads. Yeah. We all got on well together. Um, you know, even now we we have a former players association and we all see each other. Um, we just love to see each other. Yeah. So I think you know that was part of the football club that the guys got on so well together. I think that's special for the fans though to have like that generation of footballers still around and still active. Well, I think so. I think you know, this is like you know, where you you work in the boxes, and um, you know, I come over on match days, and uh, I think they love to see former players. You know, they really do, and they you know, they, they chat to you, and uh, what do you think of today? Uh, you know, uh, against your day. Um, so yeah, so it's always uh, it's always lovely. Well, talking about former players. We're going to miss him. Unbelievable. Yeah. We really are. He's been, you know, for 16 yeah. years here, he's, in, he's been incredible. Um, and, you know, it'd be hard to think of another player coming along like Stephen. It really will. Because um, he's, he's been an iconic player. Um, but it's like anything else, you know, life goes on and. So, I'd like to think in the future that, you know, maybe somebody will come through, uh, a Liverpool kid, maybe, yeah. uh, you know, who sort of um, be like Stephen, but it'll take a lot to do it. It barely will, you know. So I mean, the, the same with Jamie, Jamie, oh, Jimmy Carragher. Yeah. You know, he, these guys don't come along very often. They really don't. And, you know, I think they, we've got two absolutely fantastic players for all those years and they've been two scouts as well. There's always been like scouts in the club. Do you think there's John Flanagan could maybe set in or Well I hope so. In? I mean I, I, I think that, you know, I mean that's if you if you're born in this city, you know, I mean it's it's, it's an amazing connection. Well it is, it's fantastic, you know, I often think well Derby matches against Everton, you know, I mean you think to yourself, you know, it, it, it's the it's the Liverpool lads yeah. who feel the passion for derby games, whether they're 
the foreign players in field fashion. Um, I just don't know. Uh, but certainly the you know the the, the, the leading up to a derby game, you know, was always sort of tickets and oh my god, you know, so the, the, the build up was unbelievable. I'm, I'm sure it still is with them the, 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 the Liverpool lads. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for doing this Ian. It's been an absolute Megan. pleasure. It's been a pleasure to do it for you. <laughs> Thank really you very nice. much. Thank you. <laughs> it means a lot. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Oh.